Hello, hello, it's Monica from Crafting with Cling Lady and I hope you have absolutely fabulous day. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create an accordion gatefold card. If you haven't tried this fancy fold card style yet, this video is for you and you don't need any cutting dice to create it. For my project, I'm going to use my new collection called Purple World. As you can see, I've got 14 A4 design papers, also lots of elements to fussy cut, reef sentiments and digi stamps. I really like those beautiful elements to fussy cut, so I'm going to use some of them for today's project. As you can see, there is variety of beautiful flowers, but also leaves you can use for a variety of occasions. I'm also going to use those two design papers. Of course, I need a reef to decorate my card, and I'm also going to use that polka dot design paper, and I need a sentiment as well. So let's create the card base for today's project. I've got my big scoring board from Crafters Companion and I've got 6 inches by 12 inches purple card and I'm going to score it at 3 quarters, then I'm going to score it at 1 and a half, then I need to score it at 2 and 1 quarter and also 3 inches, then I'm going to move on, score it at 9 inches, 9 and 3 quarters, 10 and a half and 11 and a quarter. When this is done, then we have to create some additional scoring lines just to make it easy for ourselves to create that accordion style. So I'm going to start with one inch and I'm going to go three lines in. Then I'm going to score two inches and I'm going to the second score line. Then I'm going to put my card at the front here and I'm going to go from 4 inches, 2 score lines down and 5 inches, 3 score lines in. And now it will be time to use the scissors and actually create that element that will create our mechanism. So with those 2 inches I'm going in and then I'm going to cut like that rectangle off. So when this is ready uh, then I'm going to create additional line here and I'm also going to create a diagonal line which will give us that amazing effect for that accordion fancy fold style. So this is super easy and then I'm going to repeat it on the other side. So as you can see we do have like a building effect here. So first I'm going to the second score line then I'm going all the way up then with the score line where we had the third line and then when I cut it off I need a diagonal line. So now it will be time to fold and burnish all those score lines. You can use a bone folder or scoring tool, the choice is absolutely yours. So it is super easy to create your card base and in the end that card will be 6 by 6 inches which I think is super cool because it will fit in 6 by 6 inches envelope. So as you can see we've got valley mountain valley mountain and I'm going to repeat the same process on the right hand side. So using my bone folder I'm just going to burnish all those score lines and when they are ready then we create a couple more elements to decorate the card because we want this card to be beautiful, right? So let's create some elements. I decided to use those two design papers from Purple World Collection and if you like it I left the links to buy me a coffee website where you can get some separate design papers and the full collection. So first I've got 5 inches by 3 inches and that will be the base for one of the sides then with the white I've got 2 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters and the design paper will be two and a half of an inch by four and a half of an inch. If you want you can also pause the video to check the measurements and I need one more panel like this. So I've got the purple card, white card and the design paper. Then I need two more other elements. So this is two inches by four inches. Then the white one is one and three quarters by three and three quarters and the design paper will be one and a half of an inch by three and a half of an inch. And again I need one more element like this for the other side of the card. So when these elements are ready it will be time to assemble them. And I do recommend you use a liquid glue because you do have time to maneuver 
all the elements if you make a mistake. Have you ever created a gatefold card? Because I think with that fancy fold there are just so many possibilities and I really try to create something unusual because I've never ever created that accordion card style so I thought today is the day especially with that purple world collection what do you think about the color combo of this collection do you like it please let me know in the comments down below purple is my favorite color that's why I decided to create this card with all those elements and colors. So when these panels are ready, then we're going to assemble them on a card. But we also have to decorate the inside of the card because it is crucial and it will make the card very special. So going from the inside of the card, I'm going to use the second panel and I'm going to apply the liquid glue there. So this way our element will float a little bit and that's exactly what we want. Now you have to make sure the glue is set before you move on to the next step. So now I'm going to put that liquid glue on the first flap and attach that smaller panel. And again I'm going to hold it for a couple of seconds just to make sure the liquid glue is set. So again that is the second panel from the inside of the card and I'm going to attach only the right hand side. And then with that fourth flap from the inside or literally the outside element, I'm going to put that element here. So again, I'm going to attach the right hand side. So now, as you can see, it closes very beautifully and it is time to decorate the inside of the card. And I decided to use that polka dot purple card. So using my scoring board, I'm going to show you all the steps. So my first panel will be using white card and it is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then the polka dot is five and a half by five and a half of an inch. Now it will be time to assemble it. And again, I'm going to use my one and only liquid glue. If you haven't seen the video from yesterday, the link is at the top right corner where I show you another card using that purple world collection. And also at the end of this video, I'm going to show you two other videos. One is created by Monica Paper Mona and one by Katarina. And they cards are absolutely stunning. So you can check those out as well. So when these panels are ready, I thought let's decorate the cards even more. So I decided to use that beautiful wreath from Purple World Collection and I fussy cut it. It is super simple and you don't really need much stuff here. Now, before I do it, I also have to create a belly band because it is a gatefold cut in the end. So here I've got a leftover card from my card base and I'm going to use my scoring board or actually bone folder just to press a little bit. So I do have those fold lines and it is so much easier to create. Now I'm going to use my circle cutter that I got from the little couple of weeks ago and it is that purple color so I thought that would be perfect. And I'm going to create three circles to decorate the belly band. As you can see here, I'm creating a circle which is slightly smaller than four inches. As you can see, the blade is covered so we can open it very easily. Now let's create the first circle and I'm going to use exactly the same purple card so I want all my elements to match beautifully. Now it will be time to create a white panel. But at this point, when I created it, I thought it is slightly too big. So I'm also going to leave it and use it for another project. And I do encourage you to do the same because sometimes when we create those elements, they might not fit very well. However, you can always leave them for your future projects. So now it is time to create that white element again and it will be slightly smaller. So it's going to fit perfectly. Then I'm going to use exactly the same purple polka dot design paper and I'm going to create a slightly smaller circle. So this way I'm going to have very nice borders on my belly band, which I think is super cool. 
right? So now it will be time to assemble them. And again, I'm going to use my liquid glue. However, you can use your tape and that will be perfectly fine. Have you ever used digi papers to create your projects? If you haven't, maybe this collection would be perfect for you. And I do encourage you to check my Buy Me A Coffee website because I do have some free designs as well for you. So now it will be time to put that circle exactly in the middle and this time you have to make sure the glue is set before you move on to the next step. If you want you can also use a red liner tape and that will be perfectly fine. However, I absolutely love my book binding glue. Now it is time for a sentiment and also some beautiful flowers from Purple World Collection. So here I decided wishing you all the best and I'm going to use the same purple card that I use for the card base and I'm going to assemble those elements together. If you want you can also add some dimension with double sided foam adhesive but here I decided let's do the flowers first and I also wanted to add some leaves because they are just simply gorgeous. So let's put the flowers first and then when I'm happy with the composition I'm going to use my liquid glue to put all the elements on the card and this is a very big tip for you whenever you create any project I do encourage you to create a dry run first so this way you'll make sure that all the elements are exactly where you want so here at the very bottom I decided to add those leaves because it was a little bit too empty and I really wanted to fill that composition you can also use your pokey tool or cut the end of the leaf if it is too long of course you can do it no one will ever know so the belly band is complete but at this point I thought let's add that beautiful wreath inside of the card and as I told you I'm going to fussy cut it with my scissors and this purple flower I think that will match the belly band beautifully. So what do you think about this color combo for today's card? Do you like it? I really hope you do. And tomorrow I'm also going to have another project using that purple world collection so if if you like fancy folds check the video tomorrow and if you're new to my channel I would really suggest that you subscribe because I'm going to have quite a lot of videos coming your way and if you do find this channel interesting that really makes me super super happy. Now when the sentiment is there I thought let's add something that I absolutely love to add on all my projects. As you know me probably you know that something is missing and that at this point I couldn't resist and I absolutely have to add some purple gems. I couldn't resist and I think they will match that polka dot design paper beautifully. So what do you think about that finished project? Do you like it? Would you like to create that accordion gatefold card? I really hope you will. Now I've got a smaller square that will go on the back so I do have some space to write a message for the recipient and I do encourage you to do the same. If you want you can just write your message inside and that will be perfect fine. So now the whole cut is complete. Do you like it? Please let me know in the comments down below and if you do have your favorite gatefold cut style please let me know which one is it and if you haven't created a accordion gatefold card yet please try it. It is super easy to do. Thank you so much for watching and spending that time with me. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And here you can see a video from Monica and Katarina. See you in my next video. Happy crafting!